This is a video about labiaplasty. I'm Dr. Elizabeth Hall Finley, plastic surgeon at Banff Plastic Surgery in Banff, Alberta. Wanting a labiaplasty is sometimes a bit difficult to talk about, not only with your partner, but your family physician, and even gynecologists, for example, say, you don't need that done. That's normal. It's normal anatomy, and yes, it is. But this is the kind of thing we've been doing as plastic surgeons for a long time. So if you look at plastic surgery, we have reconstructive surgery and cosmetic surgery. So reconstructive takes the abnormal like a cleft lip and makes it normal, but cosmetic surgery takes the normal and tries to improve upon it. So there's nothing wrong with wanting to look better all over your body. So plastic surgeons, we don't change your personality, we just make you feel more comfortable about your physical self, and that includes sex. So labiaplasty, fixes the anatomy so that you're more comfortable. Labiaplasty isn't just about your physical appearance during intimate relations. It's also about riding a bicycle. Some people have trouble with the labia getting caught riding a bicycle. Some patients tell me that their labia comes out of their bathing suit and they have to tuck it back in so they stop wearing bathing suits. So labiaplasty is something to try to make it more comfortable both physically and appearance-wise. So there are several different techniques or approaches to labiaplasty. There's the basic trim technique where we just trim off some of the excess. But a lot of patients have more of a problem than that and then we need to do what we call a wedge technique. Then we also have what we call an extended wedge technique. There are even some patients where the outer labia are not f as full as they need to be and will do some fat injections, for example. So this has nothing to do with vaginal tightening, any of that kind of thing. It's just about the appearance of your labia and trying to make it better. Labiaplasty is a procedure that can be done under local anesthesia where we just numb the area with or without a bit of sedation or completely general anesthetic. And that will depend one patient to the, another. The surgery itself lasts about an hour and a half. It's day surgery, you go home the same day. We do want you to take it pretty easy for a few days because there's a lot of swelling down there and it's best if you're lying and keeping your feet up for a few days and not trying to do too many things. Then you can go back to regular, normal, everyday activities, exercise and sports, it might be better to wait for two or three weeks, sex and tampons, four weeks. Here at Bad Plastic Surgery, we use dissolving sutures. We still like you to come back and see us at about the four week mark, but you don't necessarily have to come back to have sutures removed. If you're interested in finding out more about labiaplasty or just exploring your options, call us here at Banff Plastic Surgery.